day to each, to each and every one of us here. Welcome in today's lecture, the lecture on set operations. Before we, we are going to start our discussion proper, let us first define on the things that you, need to, that, that you need to attain after the end of this video lecture. The first one, you should be able to perform operations and sets. Next, you should be able to utilize the, di the Venn diagrams to represent the four fundamental operations and sets. For that, make sure you have with you these materials, your lecture notebook, assessment notebook, black ball pen, and intermediate paper. So before we are going to start our discussion proper, let us first do some learning activities. The, wherein this activity will help you gain an overview of how to perform set union and set intersection. Please observe the example as provided. Now I want you to look at the following set of shapes. Have a set A and set B. Class, you may take a picture of this video so that you will have a copy as you proceed to the next slide. Then I want you to answer the following questions. Which of the following shows the union of set A and set B? How many, how many elements are in the union of set A and set B? Plus, I want you to answer this activity from your assessment notebook. Make sure again to take a picture of this PowerPoint, of this presentation, so that you, might ha so that you may have a copy. The second question. Which of the following shows the intersection of set A and set B? How many elements are there in, in the intersection of set A and set B? Again, class, I want you to take a picture of this question so that you will have something to share once we do our group activity. Then, also, I want you to take a picture of this slide so that you will have a copy of the questions on which your group is going to share. Now, based on the previous example, how are you going to perform the set, uh, set union and set intersection? Do you remember how to use the Venn diagrams? Based on the diagram of the next slide, determine the elements that belongs to both A and B. Then second, you are going to determine the elements that belong to A or B or both. How many elements are there in each set? Class, I want you to answer these questions following. Class, I want you to answer these questions following the instruction wherein you are going to answer them on your assessment notebook. And after five minutes, I'll be calling your attention to answer these questions and activities we have. Now let us, uh, to start our discussion, let us first define the four, what are the basic set operations. Now, one might be, uh, one might be interested in combining the elements in two sets, like you want to determine uh, what uh, you want to create a set which will contain the elements of both sets or somehow you want to create a set wherein this set shall contain only the elements that are common to each set okay now operations on set can be represented using a Venn diagram a Venn diagram class represents mathematical or, log or logical sets picturally as circles with an enclosing rectangle, common elements of these sets are being represented by the overlap among the circles. And it was John Venn who invented this Venn diagram. Hence, we name it as Venn diagram. Again, it was John Venn who invented or who developed this Venn diagram. Hence, it was named after him. Now, the, the four basic set operations are set union, set intersection, set complement, and Cartesian product. Again, uh, these uh, set operations answer the questions wherein you would want to create a set which, will com uh, which contains a set of both elements or of both sets. Or you want to create a set which contains the elements of both sets. Or somehow, you might want to create a set which contains only the elements common in each set, okay? So this pertains to set union and set intersection. Then you also have your set complement and your Cartesian product. Now, don't you worry, class, because we are going to tackle them one by one as we go along in our discussion. Now, let us start with union of two sets. 
when you say plus union of two set, it, con uh, it is an operation wherein you are going to combine the elements of two sets. But take note, class, that the uh, take note that there there shall be no two elements which are the same in the resulting set. Hence, if two elements are the same in each set, there shall only be one element to represent the duplicates. Meaning to say, class, if set A contains the element 1, at the same time set B contains element 1, once you are going to perform set union, there shall only be one element to represent the two ones. Meaning to say, in the resulting set, there shall only be one uh, one number to represent them. Again, please retake note that no two elements are the same in in the resulting set. So hence, class, if there are two elements which are common to each set, we only use one to represent these two elements. For example, if set A contains element B, at the same time your set B contains element B, once you will perform A union B, you'll only have to write a single B because you cannot write uh, you cannot write B and then B because that violates now the rule in which a set shall only contain unique elements or distinct elements. Hence, element cannot be similar. Again, a set union is just the combination of all elements in each set. And then, and then again, class, if there are two elements which are common, you only select one to represent this common elements. And then the symbol for un set union is U. Now for example, uh, take a look class in this example. We have here set A and set B. Set A contains elements A, N, E, and T. While set B contains elements P, O, N, and Y. And then take note class that there are elements which are common to both A and B. And what, are, and what is this element? Which is, uh, which is common to A and B. Okay, you get it right. The element N. Set A contains element N. At the same time, set B contains element N. So when we do, again, the set union, make sure to only select one to represent the duplicated N3. Hence, when you do set union, it shall only be A, E, T, P, O, N, and Y. Take note that, again, we only selected a single n for to represent the duplicated n3 which is found in set a and set b when we do set union again another example you are going to find the union of j and m and you are tasked to draw a venn diagram to represent and illustrate the the, the union of set j and m okay okay for example this one we have here set U contains elements 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. While set J contains elements 1, 2, 6, and 7. Now, when you do class the set union, okay, when you do the set union, you are only to select, or you are going to combine the elements of set, okay. Okay, so the task here is that you are going to combine elements in set J and set M. Set J contains elements 1, 2, 6, and 7, while set M contains elements 1, 3, 4, 5, and 8. And then take note, class, that 1 here is the common element between J and M. Again, 1 and 1 is the common element between J and M. Hence, class, since there is a common element to them, what you're going to do is to select only one element to represent these two duplicated entries, or the two similar entries for set J and set M. Hence, we will have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, okay, by the way, there shall be no, there shall only be up to 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There shall be no 9 and 10, okay? So, please take note class of this correction. There shall only be up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay? You are going to combine 
set j and set m m okay so sorry for this again when you combine set j and set m it will result to the elements containing or a set u containing the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 there shall be no 9 and 10 since our elements are only up to 7 and 8 and then take note class once we created our set union one is common to both set j and set m hence class we do not create Okay, hence class, there, okay, hence, uh, one is only represented as a single number in our set U. Okay? Now, let's talk on intersection of set. When you say class intersection of set, we are only tasked to get the element which is common to set A and set B, for example. I mean to say, what elements that can be found both in both sets okay the set intersection is just about getting the elements in common to both sets and then the symbol used to represent the intersection of a set is just uh, the u inverted letter u okay so if there's no common elements in each in the given set then then the intersection between these sets is called as, as an empty set or null set again if there is no common element to them then we call that set as empty or null set. Okay, for example we have a set a b and c then if we're going to get class the intersection between a and b we are going to select these elements which are common to set a and b if you will try to examine the elements common to set a and set b it shall only be the elements which are 3 and 9. At the same time, if we get class the intersection between set A and set C, the common elements are only, okay, if we're going to examine, there is no element in common. Hence, the intersection of set A and set B is an empty set or what we call as null set. Okay? Again, class, when you say set intersection, it is just getting the elements common to both sets. And again, if there is no common elements to them, we will call that set as empty set or null set. Okay, another example we have. Find the intersection of set J and M and draw a Venn diagram to illustrate J intersection M. Okay? If you are going to create class, the intersection of set J and M, it will be the intersection is only a single element. Which, one, which, uh, which is element 1. So the common elements between J and M is 1. So both sets contains element 1, and there is no other element common to them. Hence, the intersection of set J and M has only a single element, which is 1. Okay, if you're going to illustrate using a Venn diagram, it will be like this. The elements of set J and the elements of set M. And common to them is element 1, okay? Again, class, when you say set union, we just combine the elements between the two sets. Again, if there are two elements, uh, if there are elements common to this set, we are just going to select one to represent this, uh, this similar uh, element in each set. When you do set intersection, you are just going to select the elements common to both sets, okay? That's how easy set union and set intersection are. Set union, set union, combine the elements, and then if there are if there are similar elements, select only one to represent them. Whereas set intersection, we are just going to get the for the set intersection class, we are just going to select the element common to this set. Okay? So I hope that's clear with set union and set intersection. Okay, so that, uh, that is all about set intersection. And then the shaded part of the Venn diagram represents the intersection of sets J and M. Okay, so that is all about class for the set union and set intersection. Now this time we will talk about the complement of a given set. When you say class,
complement of a set, it is written as A prime. Okay? The complement of a set A, written as A prime, is re read as A complement is a set of elements in the universal set Q that do not belong to set A. Again, it is a set of elements in the universal set Q that do not belong to set A. Okay, for, and then when you say class the universal set, it is the set of all elements under consideration. For example, we have our set U and then we have our set A. And then class, you are going to select or you are tasked to get the complement of set A. So in this given example, you are going to examine, okay, you are going to examine from the universal set which elements are not common or which elements that cannot be found in set U, okay? Which element in the universal set U that do not belong to set A? Now, uh, elements Q and S are found in set A. Do you agree? So, these elements Q and S shall be removed from the universal set and it will give us the complement of set A. Hence, the complement of set A are the elements P, R, and T. Again, when you say class complement, these are the set of elements from the universal set which should not belong to the set being considered. For example, when you are going to get the complement of set A, okay? From the universal set, we are going to check which elements that do not belong to set A since we are tasked to get the complement of set A. As we are going to examine, set A contains elements Q and S. Therefore, Q and S shall be removed from the universal set and what is left are the elements for our set complement of set A. Hence, class, the, the answer for A complement are, is the set which contains elements P, R, and T. Okay? That's how you are going to perform set complement. Again, make sure, class, to remove, to remove the element from the universal set that belongs to to the set being considered. For example, set A has Q and S, therefore, we are going to remove Q and S from our universal set. And the resulting set here is our set complement, which contains elements P, R, and T. Okay? That's how you are going to perform set complement. Okay? For example, we have, we have here the universal set U, set K, and set L. And then, if we're going to select class, you are tasked to get the complement of set K. Okay, to do this class, you are going to remove from the universal set all the elements present from the set K. Therefore, we have here two. We're going to remove, so we're going to remove class two from the universal set. Four, six, eight, and 10, okay? What is left are the elements 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So that is how, that is, this is now the answer for our set complement of set K. What about class if you were tasked to, if you were tasked to get the complement of set L, okay? Complement of set L. So to do this, we are, we are again to remove the elements from the universal set that can be found in set L. These are the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Therefore, the resulting set are the set or is the set which contains elements zero, uh, elements 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Therefore, we have here the, the final answer. Set uh, L or the complement of set L are the elements which contains, uh, is the set which contains elements 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So that is how you are going to perform uh, the complement of a given set. Okay?
Again, class, if you have questions, you are going to, enter to entertain them later, okay? For now, just write these questions on a piece of paper, and then later, you are going to clarify your doubts, okay? Now, after the set complement, is we also have class your Cartesian product. When you say Cartesian product, it is just like pairing every element in set A to every element N in set B. Okay? So, the, the Cartesian product of two sets, A and B, rate, uh, written as A times B, is the set of all ordered pairs A, B, where A is, a set, uh, is the element of set A, and B is an element of set B. Meaning to say, class, every element in set A is being paired to every element in set B. We are presented in, a, in an ordered pair. Okay? And then take note, class, that if we have A times B, the first ordered pair should start with the element found in set A and then followed by the element found in set B. That is, again, every element of set A is paired to every element I in set B. Okay, for example, you have here set A contains the elements M, N, and K while set B contains elements 4 and 7. And then class, if you are tasked to get A times B, that means class, every element of set A will be paired to every element in set B. So to do this class, we'll have A times B, every element of set A is paired to every element in set B. That is class, we'll start with M. M4, that is 1. Then we have here M7, this one. N4, this one. Then we have N7, this ordered pair. And then we have our K4. And then we have our K7. Okay, take note class of on how the given ordered pair is being presented. Okay? That's how you are going to pair. If it starts with A, therefore every element of A is paired to every element in set B. And then what about class if we're going to interchange? So we have here B times A. That is class. If we will do B times A, it will be every element in set B is paired to every element in set A. So we'll start with set B. So we have here, since we have here B times A, so we have here 4 paired with M, and then 4 N, this one. Then we have here 4K, then we have our 7M, this one, then we have our 7N, and then lastly, we have our 7K, okay? That is how you are going to do the trick. Take note, class, if set A comes first, therefore, in all your ordered pairs, set all elements of set A shall be, uh, all ordered pairs shall begin with elements in set A. For us class, if it is set B, all elements in set B shall begin in every given ordered pair. Okay? So that, that, that is how to perform Cartesian product. You are just going to pair every element in set A to every element in set B. Or the other way around, if you are going to interchange, just make sure uh, whichever set comes first shall be the first in the ordered pair. Okay? Take note class that, that we follow the x and y coordinates, okay? In this given example. Okay? Class so far, questions or clarifications? Okay? So before ending this uh, video lecture, I just want to sum up the things that we have discussed. Firstly, we talk about set union, wherein, wherein you are just going to combine the elements of two sets, and then take note again that if there are two elements similar in each set, you will only have to select one element to represent these two similar elements in a given set. Okay? The path class, there should be unique, and the set created shall be unique and distinct. Therefore, no duplicates are allowed. Okay? Then, the, uh, that is all about set union. Next class is we have here your set intersection. When you say set intersection, you are just trying to get the elements common to both sets. And that's it. Okay? Then we have also um, set complement. Set complement is just a set of all 
uh, is just the set which contains elements in the universal set which is not in set A. Okay? All those elements from set A found in a universal set shall be removed and that will give you the complement in a given set. And then finally, we talk about the Cartesian product. Cartesian product class is just pairing. You are going to pair every element in the set A to every element in set B. If then class, if mauna ang B, it shall be every element in set B will be paired to every element in set A. So whichever comes first shall also be the first in the sequence in our ordered pair. Okay? So I hope that's clear. And then class, if you have questions, please do ask them now so I can entertain them. Okay? So, so much for this. There are things you need to clarify. You can read these materials. And then again, if you have questions that you need to be clarified, please ask them now so I can entertain them as we'll have the open forum. Okay, for now, thanks for watching this video and see you in our next lesson. Thank you and buhay.